All right, welcome back. 739 now. Students at Kansas City University of Medicine and Bioscience are doing some surgery this morning. Yes, yeah, students. Uh, it's all part of their training with a cut suit. So, Fox Force Kathy suit. Quinn is live from the campus on Independence Avenue. First of all, what, what is, is a, a cut, cut suit? suit? A cut suit simulates a body, and they're operating right now on the body. Doctor, tell me what's going on. All right, we've got a gunshot wound to the abdomen. We've got a bleeding wound right here. Um, so we're going to try and clamp it hemostat. All right, so this is where you're able to train as if this is a live person. Yes, ma'am. Um, so it's a very hyper-realistic um, setting that we have. And you're looking for what right now? So this was an artery that was bleeding, um, and we just clamped it to help stabilize our patient. Last one. Okay, very good. All right, Dr. Peperel, you are the instructor. You're also a general surgeon. Right. So what does this do for your students? You didn't have this when you were in medical school. No, I wish I would have had this when I was in medical school. It allows us to put them in these high-pressure situations where you have a critical patient without us actually having to use a real patient to do that. I mean, honestly, that's how I learn. Uh, so now we can, we can stop it at any time and go back and say, okay, what what did you need to mm -hmm. do? What happened here? How can we uh, improve on, on that and, you know, put them through it again and again? And, and again. this helps me as a patient because? Well, uh, because we're able to train them much quicker and have them have a better understanding of what they need to do once they go out and actually oh. are taking care of actual patients. Okay, and so these are military students here. They're second years, and I've got Dr. Darren with me right now to come over here and talk about. This is just uh, the beginning of a new center you're going to be doing a groundbreaking on today, and that's what this is part of. Yes, we're opening the Center for Medical Education and Innovation. Today is the groundbreaking. We're very, very excited. This is one of our simulations. It's uh, called the cut suit. And this is allowing the students to learn about surgery and actually practice on non-living people so that we don't end up with errors and problems. My goodness, technology. Technology has just taken off, hasn't it, especially in the medical field? It really has. And although this is hands-on, this is one of the technologies we will continue to use in our new building. However, we will start to use things like virtual reality and augmented reality, haptic technologies to allow people to feel in three different dimensions. Oh it's going to be a very, very, very neat way of teaching. All right, very good. So how are we? How's the patient? Patients, Jerry, how are our vitals? I think we're stabilizing. Stabilizing. Um, All right. We're just, just going up a little bit there. All right. <laughs> so it helps you. It helps you like with the stress level too, you're able to get used to it. Yes, you definitely okay. find a way to keep your, your breathing rate down versus the first time we did it. Very good. All right, you're looking good there. Did a good job. All right, we're going to see more on what's going on with this new technology. It's incredible. Kathy Quinn, Fox 4 News. Kathy, you know what this reminds cool. me of, don't you? No, what? The game we all played as kids, Operation, Operation. where you had the little tweezers, <laughs> and if you touched the side, it went, and the nose went red. <laughs> that's probably what, Doctor, you played with Operation, the Operation game? When you were little, that's what Mark says this reminds him of. This is, this is the biggest Operation okay. game you've ever had, and it's the funnest. Much more expensive. Yeah, <laughs> this one doesn't go bzzz, but it makes it bleed all over okay. the place. All so. right, it doesn't go bzzz, but right. it bleeds all over. All right, next live shot's the Easy Bake Oven. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> oh, my God.